This is Erickson Lake. I am in Erickson, Nebraska. And kind of a weird place. It's pretty. But it's got all of these little cabins. It's like a little town. I think they're all summer cabins. People don't live here full time. But there's like four, four city blocks right here with all of these little cabins. I've only seen one person, so I don't think it's really in full swing yet. But this is the swimming beach that I'm standing on. I did find the uh, boat ramp, and it's way down there. But it's kind of an odd little setup. So I think I might get in right here. It's 110 acres, and I believe the Elkhorn River dumps into this lake. I'd have to look look at that. But I believe that's right around the corner here. Kind of around that little bend. We might, I might go up there a little bit. Go against the current. And then down here is like a spillway where it continues. That's a pretty area. But yeah, I think I might use the swimming beach as my boat ramp. Why not, right? This is kind of a nice little odd area oh good there's a bathroom because i gotta go to the bathroom really bad yeah this is nice it is 12 30 in the afternoon so let's it's it's beautiful it's a little breezy but it's just right so let's get in and let's go check this out Depths of silence where echoes remain. You were the sunrise, and I was the rain. A collision of souls opposing and fly. I was the darkness, you yearned for the light. Now you don't. Now losing my mind, losing my mind, I'm losing my mind. Erickson Lake. So, if you look this lake up on the internet, it has its own website. And it, it's like, like I said before, it's like its own little community. It has like special events, they have fireworks, looks like they have bands that come out here. So, you know, everybody has like their own little pier or their own little dock. Um, I I was a little questionable about this because I thought maybe this was a private lake. No, it's a public lake. So, just the, the boat ramp was kind of weird. So I decided to use the swimming beach. But yeah, this is a kind of a different, you know, this Erickson is kind of in the middle of nowhere out here in the sand hills. It's a nice little town. I actually drove through the town. Nice little town, looks like it has a bank and a church and a saloon or a bar. But yeah, this is a, it's like their own little resort out here. It's kind of nice. Wouldn't mind having like a little cabin out here. Be part of a group where you come out during the summer and goof around and yeah, maybe someday.
kept me alive I said hold on You say goodbye Here's the uh, the dam or the spillway that continues the river. I want to say it's the Elkhorn, but I think that's wrong. I have to look that up. Like the Upper Elkhorn or something. What if they let you drive down to this thing? Looks like there's a, a road up there on the berm. I'll drive down there after this, take a look at it from the top. sandals on the first lake this morning and I've had those for like three two three years and they were cheap Walmart sandals and you know how over time a sandal or a shoe kind of conforms to your foot and it's just so comfy oh man that's what these were they were so comfy and they broke they broke when I got out of the water at whole lake so, thankfully, I have water shoes, so I put the water shoes on, and then I found a uh, Dollar General, I forget what town it was, and I found some really cheap, I mean these are like really cheap, it's like walking on cardboard, they were a buck twenty, so I've been wearing those for the majority of the day and they kind of hurt. I need to get me some real sandals from Walmart. It's a good story. That's all I got.
kind of shallow in here. It's starting to scrape the bottom. Yeah, I can, I can see the bottom of the lake now. I'm hitting with my paddle. Yeah, off somewhere here. Let me show you guys. Straight straight ahead, around that corner, it's all shallow. Can you kind of see the bottom of the lake? I can, with the sun reflecting. Yeah, otherwise I'd go that direction. It's really shallow over there.
on getting caught up on these lily pads They're really thick in here and I'm pretty sure this is the dead end yep it is well I was kind of hoping to go up the go up the river against the current but that spot where I said it was too shallow oh it looked really shallow. I suppose I could go try it. Brought some, let's see, yep. Brought some extra batteries with me. Yeah, let's go down there and see if I can get on that, that channel. Yeah, it's really shallow in here. Yep. Now let's see how far I can go. And I'm going against the current. If if there is a current. And there is. It's slight, but it's there. I'm not able to dig very much with my paddle. I keep on hitting the sand. What if I get over here? Ugh. It looks deeper over here. Oh yeah, much better. And the bugs are really bad out here. It's starting to become that time of year. All right, I can see a, I can see a sand shelf again. See if I can get around it. You can cut you can tell because the water is sitting differently, it's moving differently. And there's a there's a different there's a difference of uh coloration too. Oh, alright. Yep, I'm back in it again. A little deeper over here. No? Oh, here we go. I can see it. Yep, there it is. No? All right, optical illusion. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> this is as far as I'm gonna go. Wow. Can you guys see the See the bottom there? And it's really... It's really mushy. It's not that... It's not that hard sand. It's mushy. So if I were to get out, I would uh, fall up to my knees. It would go up to my knees in dirt. That stuff's gross. That stinks. Yeah, look at this. Should have brought my drone. 
Well, the, the drone's in the car. It's not with me in the kayak. Check this out. This is kind of cool. Yeah. I'm just... I'm stuck here. I'm not stuck, but I'm not moving. <laughs> so I was trying to... Trying to go up the current here. Now yeah, let's try again. Come on now. I really don't want to get out. I'm not getting out. Dude, it smells. I'm stirring up the dirt. It smells. Here we go. to get past this last hump. Okay. Wow. When I looked up this lake, I saw that this creek or this river went up quite a ways. Well, it goes it goes quite a ways. But it goes to the point where you can't go anymore because there's like a fence. A rancher put up a fence. And I was hoping to, you know, be out here for a couple of hours and follow that up there but i that's obviously not going to happen oh. oh it's deep over here there we go okay good lord oh. 110 acres it's a nice lake but yeah i bet with all these cabins there's like four streets where they're just lined up like a little like a little town. I bet this place gets crazy in the summer, but I bet it's fun. I don't think anybody lives here full time. Maybe. In the town, of course, but on the lake, I'm not sure. I've only seen one person. So maybe, you know, Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend is in like four days. I bet this place will be, I bet that's probably like the opening of this place. Well, now I'm taking the current. This is nice. It's almost 1.30. There's one more lake I want to do today. And then I'm going to start heading west. Farther west. So, yeah, this is it. This is Erickson Lake. This is one of those lakes again that I had a lot of questions. I thought it was private. I thought this lake, I thought when I got here, it wouldn't let me in. Like there was a gate because of all these, house, these little cabins. I really thought this was going to be a private lake and I just would have to leave. But it's not. So. It's a little, cool little place. There's the boat ramp for the for the swimming beach. So thanks for watching you guys. I always appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so check this out. Here's the spillway in the dam. I guess you want to call this a dam. Here's the lake that I was just on. It's kind of cool.
one down there. Keep off the spillway. Yes. This is quite the uh quite the spillway here. And here's where it comes in. I was right here. Like an hour ago. Yeah, let's walk down here. Man, these sandals are terrible. Ugh, they hurt my feet. I should just put my water shoes back on. Ugh, man. Terrible. I think that's for a better day. Paper thin. Looks like one of them. One of them's already starting to rip. Well, what I say, a buck twenty. Yeah, it's about as far as they're gonna get me. Oh man, sorry for complaining, but they really hurt my feet. This lake wasn't private. I'm glad I could get on it. It's a cool place. So next up is, I believe, Willow, Willow Lake. And then I'm gonna start heading farther west. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Ah, man. Ouch. These sandals are so stupid.